Who's got the power, the power to read? Who answers the call for friends in need? Super Y! Super Y! He's the guy, he's Super Y! Who's got the power, the power to read? Who looks into books for the answers we need? Super Y! Super Y! And the Super With the Super Readers, adventure waits when you're with Super Y. Super Y and the Super Readers, yeah. Super Y and the Super Readers. Adventure waits when you're with Glad you're here. It's me, Wyatt. Welcome to Storybook Village, where all our fairy tale friends live. Oh, look! My friends are playing pretend. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, Wolfie. <laughs> Wyatt, look at our pretend castle. I'm the queen. And I'm pretending I'm a brave knight. I have just the thing that'll make you look like a real knight. <gasps> Ta-da! Every knight needs a helmet. We'll call you... Sir Palehead. Sir Palehead? I don't want to wear a pail on my head. Oh, come on! Let's play! <sighs> Pig, why aren't you playing? Up the hill. I don't want to play. Why? Because I feel silly wearing this pail on my head. It's so embarrassing. This sounds like a super big problem. And a super big problem needs us, the Super Readers. We need to call the rest of the Super Readers. Call them with me. Say, calling all Super Readers. Calling all Super Readers. Super readers. To the book club. To the book club. The book club. <laughs> Come on, to the book club. Here. P is for pig. Red Riding Hood rolling in. Princess P, at your service. And you, say your name. Great, we're all here. Together, we will solve Pig's problem. Let's go! Okay, Pig, state your problem. Jill wants me to wear a pail on my head, but I feel silly. Oh. What should I do if I don't want to wear the pail? Good question. When we have a question, we look... In, in a, a book. book! What book should we look in? Peas and carrots, carrots and peas. Book come out, please, please, please! Let's read the title of this book. The Emperor's New Clothes. We know what to do. We need to jump into this book and find the answer to Pig's question. First.
First, we look for super letters. And then put them in our super duper computer. Super duper computer, how many super letters do we need? Looks like in this story, we need to find seven super letters. And then we'll get our super story answer. It's time to transform. Ready? Ready! Ready. Arms in. Put your arm in. Super readers, to, to the, the rescue! rescue. Super you with the power to help. Together we are the Super Readers! Y Flyers! We're ready to fly into this book! Super Readers to the rescue! It's time to fly! With the Super Readers, cause we've got a problem to solve. Super Readers, to the rescue! Super Readers, working together with powers to read. In the books we fly, and find a super story answer in Super Y. Super Readers, to the rescue! We're in the Emperor's new clothes book. Let's read. Why, writer? Highlight! Read with me. The Emperor wanted new clothes for the big parade. New clothes! How I love new clothes! The tailor gave him new clothes that were invisible. Ta-da! Sire, you should wear these clothes. They will look great. But these clothes are invisible. The emperor did not want to wear invisible clothes. Oh, I can't go to the parade like this. I feel so silly! <gasps> Look! The Emperor feels silly wearing see-through clothes, just like I felt silly wearing the pail. And that, Super Readers, is why we are in this book. The Emperor and Pig both feel silly. We need to find out what the Emperor does about his invisible clothes. To the Emperor! Double drat, there are so many paths, and we don't know which path to take to get to the Emperor's castle. What can we do? Alpha Pig, to the rescue! With my amazing alphabet tools, I can find the way to the castle. My alphabet map will show us which way to go. Aha! We take R Street to L Street, and then go to C Street. The castle is on C Street because castle begins with C. Okay, so first we need to find R Street. Which one is R Street? That one! one. There it is, our street. Let's 
see. L Street comes next. I don't see it. Where's L Street? There! <gasps> That's it! L Street! Come on! Now we need C Street. Which of these streets is C Street? That one! <gasps> There's C Street! Let's go! Lickety letters! We follow the alphabet streets to the castle! Let's give ourselves a big thumbs up. Keep your eyes out for super letters. You see super letters? Which letters did you find? S P. Good work. We need to put the S and P into our super duper computer. Five more super letters and then we'll get our super story answer. Awesome job, super readers. Now we need to find the emperor. <laughs> That sounds like him. Let's roll. No. Are you the emperor? No, I'm the royal advisor. The emperor has locked himself in his dressing room and he won't come out. Sire, you must come out. The parade will be starting soon. No. Please, sire, come out. I won't come out. Pretty, please. No, no. Oh. Ah, it gads. The parade, it's about to begin. We need to get the Emperor out of that room. <gasps> but it's locked. And we don't have a key to open the door. Oh, what can we do? Cue the sparkle. Cue the music! Princess Presto to the rescue! With my magic spelling wand, I can spell the word key and make one appear, and a key will unlock the door! Wands up! Ready? What letter makes the sound k k k? Hmm. K! K! Both C and K make a k sound, but for this word, we need the letter K. Write a K with me. Nice K! <laughs> now, the next two letters make the sound E. The letters E and Y. Write an E with me. Now let's write a Y. K, E, Y, key. Presto! <laughs> Spectacular spelling! We made a key appear by spelling the word key. <laughs> Let's take a bow. Yippee! Now we can open the door. <clears throat> I think it's stuck. Maybe we can open it if we all together. Help us pull. <coughs> it's almost... <coughs> oh. Oh. Phew. Thanks for your help, Super Readers. You see more Super Letters? Which letters did you find? E, A, K. E, A, and 
Okay. Now we need to put them in our super duper computer. Two more super letters and then we'll get our super story answer. <gasps> Click to the emperor. Dressing room. But where's the Emperor? He's behind the curtain? Aha! Oh, there's no one here. Where is he? Emperor! We're the super readers, and we want to talk to you. Oh. <gasps> You're in your underwear. I'm so embarrassed. I don't always dress like this. Really, I don't. I thought my tailor made me real clothes, but he made me invisible clothes, and in invisible clothes, you can see my... my... Underwear! underwear. Underwear! I feel so silly! Well, you certainly can't march in the parade in your underwear. No siree! But I'm afraid I have to. Look what it says in my story. The Emperor marches in the parade in his underwear. <gasps> oh no, no! In my... Underwear! Oh, I'm so embarrassed! Super Y to the rescue! With the power to read, I can change this story and save the day! Let's change the word underwear in this sentence. Ready, set, zap! Y writer, write. Super readers, which word should we use so the Emperor doesn't feel silly marching in the parade? Barrel, banana, or clothes? Let's try barrel. Which word is barrel? Hmm, it has two R's in the middle. That one! Let's change the word underwear to barrel. Ready, set, set! Let's read the sentence and see what happens. The emperor marches in the parade in his barrel. This is embarrassing too! I can't march in this barrel! Did that help the emperor? No. No. He would still feel silly marching in a barrel. What should the Emperor wear so he doesn't feel silly marching in the parade? Barrel, banana, or clothes? Let's try clothes. Which word is clothes? Hmm. That, that one! There! Let's zap clothes into the sentence. Ready, set, zap! Let's read. The Emperor marches in the parade in his clothes. I'm dressed! I'm wearing clothes! I don't feel embarrassed anymore! Super job, Super Readers! We changed the story, and now the Emperor is wearing clothes. You look great. Very fashionable. The parade is starting. Come on! To the parade! Hello, my people. See my clothes. But, Emperor, 
What about the lovely clothes I made for you? Taylor, I don't want to wear your clothes because your clothes are invisible and everyone would see my underwear. I would feel very silly. I'm wearing actual, real, not invisible clothes in the parade. <laughs> Hello! Speaking up to that tailor felt really good. Hello! I think I look smashing. Hello! You found our last super letters? What letters did you find? U! P! It's U and P. Okay, let's put them in our super duper computer! computer. We found all of our super letters. Now we can get our super story answer. Hello! Hello! Can you see my new clothes? Goodbye, super readers! Bye, Bye readers! Enjoy the parade! Why flyers? Back to the book club! We found the super story answered with super why. Super duper computer! Give us our super story answer! Read the letters with me. S, P, E, A, K, U, P. Speak up. The super story answer is speak up. But why? Because that's what the Emperor did so he wouldn't feel silly. He told the tailor he wasn't going to march in the parade in his underwear. He learned to speak up. So my question is, what should I do if I feel silly with a pail on my head? And the answer is... Speak, speak up. up! Speak up. I need to speak up and tell Jill how I feel. I know what to do now. Thanks, Super Readers. There you are, Sir Palehead. Are you ready to play? Well, first, I need to speak up and tell you something. Jill, I don't want to wear a pail as a helmet. I feel silly. You do? Oh. That's okay. You don't have to wear it. Really? You don't mind? No, I just want to play. I'll wear the pail on my head. I don't feel silly. You can call me Queen Palehead. <laughs> okay then, I want to be Sir Knight's Pig. This lid will be my knight's shield. Let's play Queen Palehead! <laughs> hip hip hooray! The Super Readers save the day! Hip hip hooray! Hooray! The Super Readers save the day! We change the story! We solve the problem! We work together so 